MF Captain with the two months. Love your content. Thank you so much. Thank you for subscribing. Alright, so everybody in the JV90 Formula E car to start us off. Since the Formula E season has just started. It's going to be a quiet start. And we've got random all with a difference. This is going to be really interesting to see how this works. <laughs> wow. Good first corner, boys. And girls, if there's any girls here too. Good first corner, everybody. Absolutely spiffing. <laughs> I don't know how how that even how that how that even happens. <laughs> um, random all with a difference. Yeah, this is going to be an interesting one. Random all, but everybody has the same car all the way through, well, the same cars. Everybody's going to get the same selection of cars. So we've got 20 laps, and it's still, it's not like the random class-specific races where we're just limited to the class. This is, it is still a random all. Every single car could possibly come up. But everybody is going to experience the same selection of cars, just in a different order. So if you see someone in an air tug, we're all going to get an air tug. Rebel Aqua. All right. Okay, look at that. The LMP1 car. So we're, we're going to get an LMP1 and an Itali GT or a GTC or whatever that is at some point during this race. So it's interesting. We're getting a glimpse in... Wow, there's a tractor. <laughs> okay, so I, that looked like it was the Fieldmaster Classic. Everybody's going to get the Fieldmaster Classic at some point. So, yeah, it's random all. Any car could come up. But everyone's going to get the same across the race. If the unholy trinity is uh, in the selection, does everyone get, get a t-shirt? I don't think so. So I guess, you know, there's more of an emphasis on driver skill with this. Like, it's still random all, but... If you do well in the cars that you get, then you're gonna actually you just you know, you you'll win. The person who drives the best will probably end up winning the race because by the end of the race, everyone will have had the same cars. It's like the lazy version of a true random all. Yeah, Baron, I suppose that's true. It's it's a lazy true random all. Instead of doing 130 odd lap, oh no, not 130, Jesus. The Piotti Gasser, car that we haven't had in uh, GTA yet, vanilla GTA. Although maybe it'll be out by the time this becomes a video on YouTube, I don't know. Oh, it's proper, it's not going to handle like this on, uh, on regular GTA. I wish it did. It's a proper drag car, it's a proper... I was just saying in the last random all how I was complaining about getting drift cars and it's been so long since I've had a drag car, for example. Here we are. A proper drag car where you just can't turn and it goes lightning quick on the oh, streets. What a scumbag. Um but yeah, so I mean it is it is like uh doing a, a 700 lap random all where you get every single car during the race. Just like you say, the lazy version of it. <laughs> where you don't have to put yourself through going through 700 cars. Just made it work. Oh, there's the tractor. I wonder what lap I'm going to get the tractor on. Ride him. All right. 
And is that really the... Uh... Wow, we've got some quick cars in this random mod. Back. The Ferocious 312. Started with the JV90. This is the, the LMP1 Hyperion HPR1, whatever it's called, to come. Ferocious to come. You want to stay on the lead lap. That's the uh, that's the main the main thing in this race. Because if someone sort of if someone gets if someone gets the uh, I'm trying to I'm trying to make my way through traffic with the the Ryden's good acceleration. Give me a second, and I'll finish that thought in a in a second. <laughs> Yeah, if someone gets the, the Fieldmaster Classic, the tractor, on the final lap, then they'll get a bit of an advantage by having all the quick cars first. So there's still luck involved. So you want to try and stay on that lead lap. So that whoever gets lucky and doesn't get the... Uh, doesn't get the, the, the tractor until the final lap doesn't get the advantage of basically having an extra lap on everybody and essentially not having to do an extra lap because the race will finish when they cross the line for their 20th lap the ferocious isn't slow the ferocious has just been made um You won't be at a disadvantage if you don't get the tractor until the last lap because you won't finish the last lap very quick. No, what I mean is, if, if the person who is going to get the tractor on the last lap manages to be a lap ahead of everybody because he's the only person who hasn't had the tractor up yet, then he's going to finish his race. Sort of... Oh, no. Now I'm thinking it. Now I'm thinking it through. Yeah, okay. Yeah, everyone will do some lap themselves. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm getting confused. Yeah, brain freeze. <laughs> it's yeah. It's early in the morning. That, that, that's that's my excuse. It's early in the morning. We'll be all right. I was thinking if he's a lap ahead, he's he's gonna be able to like finish his race before everyone has a chance to unlap themselves. But no, that's not right. Uh, yeah, the Ferocious 312 isn't slow, it's just been made much slower than it used to be because now we've got the proper F1 cars and stuff like that and the Ferocious is meant to be one of those lower down formula that, you know, generally aren't that quick. Isn't it meant to be a, like, racing school type car that people will learn single seater racing in, for example? So that's why the Raiden was able to overtake it with its acceleration. No. So yeah, it's all about just staying out of trouble and, and doing the best that you can with the cars that you get when you get them. I mean, there is the random all elements. There's going to be, you know, it could be any car that comes up. But you know that everybody's going to be in the same boat. That's the question now. Do I do I put this in the random playlist because it's technically a random all? Or do I put it in the unique races playlist because it's like one of the class specific random races where everybody gets the same car by the end? The same cars. It's kind of like that midpoint, isn't it? It's, it's both. It's a random uh, it's like a random class race, but also a random all. <laughs> Just make a unique semi-random races playlist. <laughs> so I've still got the uh, Ferocious to come and the Hyperion free crawler time now. 
It is, it, I'll probably put it in the random list, to be honest, because it is still random all. It's a, it's another random all mode. But then, no, because the random class mode is a random mode, I guess. I don't know. The true Cybertruck. The original Cybertruck. Still got that tractor lap to do. I feel like I'm only ahead of the people who've had a tractor at this point. Yeah, it's not luck based, that's true. Maybe it should go in the unique races playlist because it, it, it has. It's not. It's not really luck based, is it? It's random all. But since everyone gets the same, it's more of a driver skill aspect. Call it sort of random all. <laughs> so we're almost halfway through the race. I like that you can do longer laps with this. Like, you could do a, a two minute plus lap and have a longer race, for example. Random ish. Yeah, random ish. <laughs> Alright, Gauntlet S. Gauntlet -S. You know what's going to happen, don't you? <laughs> It's gonna, uh, you know, I was talking, I was talking all about how the tractor being on the last lap, but it, you know, I'm gonna be the one who ends up getting the tractor on the last lap. I'll get up into the lead by overtaking everybody who gets the tractor beforehand, and then I'll just have to wait and see where I end up by just being overtaken on the final lap by everybody. <laughs> so cool that car. Yeah, that, that's a good point. Where would the true random all race fit in? If uh, if this if this isn't if this doesn't go in the random playlist and instead goes in the unique playlist, the true random all race where we do every single car, that would also surely have to go in the unique race playlist. But then I don't know. It's all complicated. The blaring of the lines makes it complicated. <laughs> All right, ferocious time. Halfway through the race, 10 cars done, 10 to go. I've got to utilize the, the cornering in this one, I think. It, ha it was slowed down a lot, the, uh, the ferocious, after the... I'm spacing on the name of the F1 car. It was introduced. CW19, thank you, of course, for Charlie Whiting19. Uh, when that was released, the Ferocious was slowed down to be more on the pace than it well, really should be. This is the OG open wheeler, yes. Well, I'm in the top five at least. The Cares Jester. Let's go for it. Bloody hell, it's quick when you hit that Cares button. driven a Cares Jester in so long. I feel like I could be utilising the Cares a bit better. into third, the Huntley Baller. Alright. I feel like the top three are only the top three because they haven't had the tractor yet. That's what it... Maybe there's top five. 
but apart from that, it seems like everyone else is probably only in the positions that they are because they haven't had the tractor. It's 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 really interesting. It's it's I, I enjoy this because you know that tractor's coming at some point, and then the people who've had the tractor early know that everybody else is going to get it at some point. It's like that's the boggy car. So you know your race isn't completely over for getting it. I think this is probably going to end up in... I don't know. I don't know what playlist to put it in. This is going to be a moot conversation for people who are watching it on YouTube because they'll know what playlist it's in because it'll be in the title. But I don't know. I genuinely don't know. The lines are too blurred. All right, Italy GTC. Oh, I need to get past that in fairness. Yes. Put in, try to put in a decent lap with this, but I'm not doing well so far. See, it's quick in the straights. Scumbag! Be a bit more patient here, and then away we go. Oh, I don't want to go off road though. I'm really not getting the track. This is amazing. How late. It's amazing how late it's leaving it to give me this tractor. Thank you guys for the, the subscriptions and bits and things by the way. I'll catch up with them after the race. Good job, little Futo. Still in third. I just. I, it's impossible to know how where you're gonna finish. Until you get that tractor lap out of the way. Even then you don't really know, but Divest 8? I didn't see anybody driving the I, I keep seeing cars like the Curse Jester and the Divest 8. That I didn't see anybody else have. I, I just assumed that I would see all the cars that I was going to get from other people, but I guess not. Alright, only five cars to go. I've still got the uh, HPR1, LMP1 car to do. And the tractor. What else have I got left? Jester. Jester Rally. Oh, the Regina. I forgot about the Regina. Oh, I'm in second now. Yeah, the leader's in a tractor. Okay, Fieldmaster Classic. About to take the lead. 
in the Regina. <laughs> when a Regina takes the lead. Into the lead in a Regina! <laughs> this is the second slowest car. <laughs> it's not going to last long, this lead. This is so slow. There it goes. That's the good thing about these these random class specific races when there's big differences in pace. I think that's why sort of the, the, the races that we've done with random class races where they're, they're off roads and, and um, Oh what a scumbag the, the the races where there's been a big difference in the class balance. It makes it so much in, more entertaining because yeah, you, you can you can end up at the front just through driving, you know. You can drive okay and still end up at the front if if you get all your bad cars towards the end and vice versa but it's all going to even out by the end so i'm guessing there's only me and the leader there's only me and unholy speed who haven't had the tractor yet unless he's just that far ahead despite having the tractor still in second there it is Fieldmaster Classic time. Of course it would happen when I was in second place. <laughs> so I'm going to have three laps to go after this. Three more laps to see what I can do. He's a scumbag! He's an absolute scumbag! Oh, there's a Fieldmaster Classic behind me as well. <laughs> second and third both in Fieldmaster Classics. So I got into first, now I'm in second, and we'll see where I end up by the end of this lap. Still got the, the Hyperion. Fourth place is coming up quick, Gauntlet S. Fifth and sixth are all in the Fieldmaster Classic as well. I guess that, so... 3rd, 4th, 5th and 6th are all in the Fieldmaster Classic and now we've got the people who... Ow! Oh. Now we've got everybody who... That's really frustrating. You would think it would be relatively straightforward to avoid a tractor. I just lost a position in the tractor. Um... Yeah, everybody in the everybody in the top few positions were all the people who hadn't had the field masters. So now they all get you know everyone gets them towards the end, and they all get them on similar laps. That's what's happened there. Down the order we go. The 34 mark per hour is an unrealistic top speed. The Fieldmaster Classic might be the only vehicle with a top speed higher than its real-life counterpart. I think, isn't the Fieldmaster Classic exactly the same as the tractor in terms of performance? Oh, he got taken out as well. Back into, well, the position ahead at least. The leader is just pulling no punches. The leader didn't even wait or anything, just, just straight. Unholy speed, hasn't had the tractor yet. There it is. Now he's got it. So the leader is almost an entire lap ahead of everybody. He's an entire lap ahead of me. Let's see. He wasn't. This is it. This is going to be interesting to see what happens on this next lap. Down in 11th. Give me the HTR one. Yes. HPR one, sorry. Time to bring it back. There's the leader. Leader and sec both the top two are actually in the Fieldmaster Classics.
This has to be the this is the quickest car we've had all race. So fast. This must be my fastest lap. The Cares Jester was pretty quick. I don't know what I got my quickest lap in, but. Was, but only just. Alright, just a classic rally. There's eighth. Coming up to overtake the Huntley. There's seventh. Oh! Can we get a top five out of this by the end? What have I got left? What's my last car gonna be? Can't remember. I don't know what it is. He is sixth and fifth. There it is. Catalyst in, still in the Field Master Classic. He was in second when he got that. We're going to overtake Unholy Speed, who was in the lead in the Field Master Classic. There he is. Well into the top five. There's fourth. It all comes together at the end, I like that. Rebel Aqua, Rebel Aqua, Regina Ute. The lead is in the Regina Ute. Chavos S. Oh, there you go. Am I gonna get second? Depends how quick the Chavos. Oh, this isn't quick, but is it quicker than a Rebel Aqua? Feels like it. The Regina Ute is really slow as well. But I think he's so far ahead, you can see him on the map, the red dot. He's so far ahead that he's just going to be able to keep that lead. Last lap. Second place on the line. This is second, third and fourth. All together, coming around to the final few corners. It's straight line speed that the Chavos is going to be better than the Rebels. I just couldn't do it. Fourth it is. Crook ended up getting the win in the Regina Ute. That was fun. That was amazing how close it was between the second, third, and fourth. But that's the beauty of, of doing, like, that's the, that was always the beauty of the class specific version of this, where it would always come together at the end. You were defeated by the Rebel Alliance. Like, it all, it all comes together at the end, unless you're a lap down. You have to stat on me, you have to stay on that same lap. That's what I was trying to say. If you don't stay on the same lap as the, the top guys, you can fall a lap down by the end. You're gonna, there's going to be one car that you're not going to get. I guess that's what I'm Like, the two guys at the bottom of 18 laps, they're not going to get the car. Um, but yeah, that, that was interesting, that was fun. Random all select, it's called. All comes together at the end. А искате ли скоро да видите нов епизод от тази поредица? Ударете лайк бутона, но внимателно, без да го чупите, защото ще ви трябва и за следващото ми видео. Също така не забравяйте да сабскрайпвате, както и да натиснете прословутата камбанка, за да може винаги да сте информирани за действията ми в YouTube. За вас това може да е незначително действие от само една секунда, но за мен това означава целият свят, и ви благодаря за което предварително. Сега можете да изберете и да видите някои от предложените ето тук клипове. А ние ще се видим съвсем скоро. Нали? 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 Нали?